moony, moony, moony. down onto the floor. Level one is going to be your beginner, your level, your first level, okay? And then we'll advance it up from there. But please stay with the level that you're comfortable with, okay? It's got to be enough to challenge, but at the same time you've still got to be able to maintain your core, the neutral spine, the breathing, okay? So everything has to be in place and work together. So, standing nice and upright, toes and knees point forwards, shoulders down and relaxed. Make sure your balance is central, so you're rocking forwards and backwards, side to side. Making sure you've got an even distribution of weight across both of your feet. You're not lopsided, you're not leaning. So in this nice lengthened position, finding those neutral spines, just tilting the pelvis forwards and backwards. Finding the position where your back feels the most comfortable. Natural orthotic curve in place. Core muscles, the pelvic floor, the muscle from within. Imagine that muscle is drawn up, from, it's the lift and it's drawing all the way up to floor number 10, taking it down to floor 5, down to floor 3 and leave it there. So you know you're pulling it up, you can feel that it's drawing up a little bit but not too much. Then imagine you've got a belt around your middle, 10 notches, pull the belt in, notch number 10, as tight as you can go, out to notch 5, out to notch 3 and again leave it there. So it's mild tension around the centre of the body. Holding from the core and the neutral spine, your breathing then comes from your rib cage, lateral thoracic breathing. Okay, hands on the ribs, fingertips touch. Take a deep breath in, open those fingers or part the fingers and release. Deep breath in and release. Relax the arms down. So you're gonna start just by pedaling through your feet, one side to the other, raising up an alternating heel and allowing your shoulders to gently rotate one way and the other. You're going to place the feet down, lift up onto the toes, lengthen the body and release. Again, lift up, lengthen the body and release. Lift up, lengthen and release. Good. You're going to take a big lunge forward with one leg, bring the body forwards and down, lengthening the back leg. Come up to the middle, bring the knee up and then with the same leg, step out to the side, reach up and over, knee comes in, step forward. So this is all on the same leg to begin with, with or without the knee coming up, you can always keep the foot down. Last one here. Into the centre and we'll change legs. Lengthen the back leg, bring the body forwards and down, knee comes up, balance, and then step out, reach over, whoop, forwards, lengthen right through that back leg, lengthen the inner thigh, one more forwards, well done, one more out to the side, and then hold it in the middle. Allow your hips to gently rotate one direction and the other. Holding it in the middle, bring the arms up. Hips stay nice and still. Breathe in, breathe out, rotate. Breathe in, return. Breathe out, rotate. Breathe in, return. So your hips stay nice and still. You're mobilizing through the mid back, the lower back without allowing the hips to go around as well. So it's just the spine, spinal rotation. Last one here, into the middle, release the arms down, good. 
standing towards whatever it is you're going to lay on. Breathe in, bring the chin to the chest. Breathe out, begin to gently roll down through your back. Soften your knees, allow your arms to hang and relax. And then when you're ready, begin the process of rolling back up, rebuilding the spine all the way to the top. Head and neck raise last, relax the shoulders down. Breathe in, chin to the chest. Breathe out, begin to roll down. At your lowest point, allow the arms to hang and relax. When you're ready, carefully begin to roll up through your back. Rebuild your spine all the way to the top. Relax the shoulders down. So we're going to be rolling down. We're going to be coming down to the floor this time, okay? So chin to the chest, breathe in. Breathe out gently lower. And at your lowest point, you're going to walk your hands forwards and down. So we're coming onto our hands and knees. We are going to use just one leg until I tell you to change, okay? So back nice and flat. Imagine you've got a tray of drinks on your spine. You mustn't spill them. Breathe in. As you breathe out, push one leg all the way back and then raise it up. Now this is going to be your start and finish position. So you're going to take a breath in. As you breathe out, that leg comes out to the side. Breathe in and return. Breathe out, leg comes out to the side. Breathe in and return. So the body stays central. You're not allowing the hip to drop to the side. Leg pulls out and then comes back in. If you want to go a little bit further, opposite arm, extended or even raised. And then your last option, arm and leg go together, breathe out, move away, breathe in to return. So your level one, just the leg. And it's up to you how far that leg goes out. I only want it to go as far as comfortable without having to tilt the body. So I'm going to ask you please for one more with this leg. If you've got your arm raised, fingers and toes touch down, draw them back in. Breathe in, breathe out, other leg pushes back and raises up. Breathe in, as you breathe out, leg comes out to the side, breathe in to draw it back in. Breathe out, leg goes out, breathe in, leg goes in. Don't tilt over. Work a little bit harder, slide the opposite arm out. Next option to raise the arm. Last option to move the arm with the leg. Breathe out to open, breathe in to return. You've got to try and keep that body weight nice and central. Remember, if there was a tray of drinks on your back, it would have to stay nice and still. With or without the arm. Breathe out, pull out, in to come in. I'm going to ask you please, this is a deduction of swimming for one more. Strengthen for your core and your lumbar spine and then release down. Good. You're going to come in to this kneeling position. You're going to take one leg out to the side. Your toes are in line with your knee. Then we're going to take down the arm. The hand is also in line with your knee. Your chest is open. Your head in line with your spine. Now you can just stay here, okay? Breathe and hold. You could breathe in. As you breathe out, lift the leg. Stay here, hold and breathe. Or we can move the leg, breathe in. As you breathe out, kick. As you breathe in, return. Breathe out to kick, breathe in to return. Now, remember you don't have to have the leg lifted. If you're struggling because your hand won't reach the floor, if you've got a large book or something that you can put underneath your hand to help you, that's absolutely fine. In the class we've got Pilates blocks, but I'm guessing some of you won't have those at home. It's just if your hand won't reach the floor. So it's with or without a raised leg, with or without the kick. 
kneeling side kick. So you've got work happening around the side of this leg, around the hip, through the core, through the obliques, working through the waist. But also balance and coordination. One more here. Bring the leg in, gently lower, slide that leg back under. Good. When you're ready, bring that other leg out to the side, foot, knee, hand. It's like a bit of a twister, isn't it? Bring the hand to the temple, make sure your chest is open so you're not rolled forwards. Stay here, or breathe in as you breathe out, lift and stay here. Or breathe in as you breathe out, kick, breathe in to return. So that leg is just coming forwards and back to where it started. Everything else remains nice and still. Breathe out as the leg moves out, in as it comes in. You can just hold it lifted and still. You can just keep it down. Even with your leg down, you are still working through the obliques, the core, and the lumbar spine. Breathe out to kick, in to return. So in your kneeling side kick, please complete two more breaths, then you can allow that leg to carefully draw back in. Then you're gonna carefully come down into a leg pull. Okay, so level one, Draw the pelvis up, keep the knees down. Level two, curl those toes under, come up onto the toes. Breathe and hold. Level three, you're gonna come right up on your hands, but make sure you keep that body in a nice straight line. Don't let the pelvis drop. Don't let that bottom come up in the air. Hold and breathe. It's at your level. Don't always assume, because you normally do a high level, you can do a high level every day. It doesn't work like that. Your body might be tired. For example, today, I've got a really sore throat and a little bit of backache, so I'm probably gonna keep to my lower options. My body's already trying to fight, so I don't wanna make it any harder. I want enough to be able to feel it, and I can feel it in my core but not too much that it's gonna hurt. I'm gonna ask you please, two more breaths in your leg pull, and once you've completed those two, you're gonna gently lower all the way down onto your front, and you're gonna be bringing the arms down to your sides. Bring your legs together, allow your heels to drop out, to relax the bottom. You mustn't lift your legs or tense up through the glutes. Head is down, breathe in. As you breathe out, peel up the chest, rotate so the palms face down. And then as you breathe in, gently lower. Now this is one whole movement, okay? So the arms come up as well. And as they come up, the palms rotate. So breathe in, breathe out, lift up, peel the chest off the floor, peel palms down. Breathe in to gently lower. Breathe out to lift. Breathe into gently lower. Core muscles zipped up, pulled in and in place. Strength from the core and the lumbar spine. And I'm gonna ask you please, rear deltoid squeeze this is called, working through the top of your back right through those um, shoulder blades. So as you come up, make sure you're squeezing them back in together, keeping the legs down and still. I'm gonna ask you please, for one more repetition. And then from there, release the arms so they're back underneath the body. Whew. And then come back up to leg pull. Level one, knees down, level two, knees up. Level three, up on those hands. Now there is a level four. And level four, you're up on your hands. Breathe in, as you breathe out, you lift one leg. As you breathe in, you lower. 
and you alternate between those legs. Oh, I've got a bit of sweat on guys. Good, hold and breathe. Now if you begin to shake or wobble, it's a sign of muscle fatigue. So just have a rest, join back in when you're ready. Hold, strengthen the core, the lumbar spine. Don't let the head hang, okay? Nothing to be ashamed of. Hold and breathe. I'm gonna ask you please for three more, up to three more. So if you can only manage two, that's fine. Once you've done those three, you're going to gently lower and turn over onto one side. Now, as you come onto your side, I would like you to lengthen your body out. Head is resting down on the arm. Fingers are being pulled away. Legs are being lengthened and pulled away as well to the other side of the room. So you've got your fingers and your toes pulled away. Core muscles are in place. We're gonna work through the waist. We're also gonna target around the outer thigh area and also the inner thigh area on the other leg. Hand is there for your balance, breathe in. As you breathe out, raise both legs up without rolling forwards or backwards. So those legs have raised. This now becomes your start and finish position. Breathe in, as you breathe out, lift the top leg. You're gonna breathe in and lift the bottom leg. Breathe out, lower the bottom leg. Breathe in, lower the top leg. So you've got top leg, bottom leg, bottom leg, top leg. Breathe out to lift, breathe in to lift. Breathe out to lower, breathe in to lower. So there's a separate breath on every movement. You can take that hand away if you're able to balance. Only lifting the legs as far as comfortable for you. As the top leg comes up, the waist has to work harder. Got that work down the, inner, um, the outer thigh. And as that bottom leg moves, that's where the inner thigh then starts to work. Harder still would be to take the arms all the way over. Up, up, down, down is one repetition. And I would like just one more please. And once you've completed those two, legs together, gently allow them to lower. If you need to, you can bend those legs, bring those knees in and give that hip a little bit of a rub. And then when you're ready, you're gonna push yourself to a seated position. Shoulders down relaxed, chin is in and up off that chest. So I'm gonna ask you to breathe in, tilt the pelvis under, and to bring up the legs and touch your toes together, okay? So big toes are touching, lower spine, C-shaped spine, tailbone tucked under. Now, if you're having problems balancing here, you could just have your toes touching the floor slightly. You could even have those hands there for a little bit of balance. Breathe in. As you breathe out, lengthen one leg out. Breathe in and return. Breathe out, lengthen the other leg out, breathe in to return. So this is your open leg rocker. This is your open leg part. Next level, both legs go together. Remember, big toes come back into touch. Good, and then if you want the actual rocker part, we breathe in, tilt, roll back, kick out, breathe in to come up. So as you start to roll back, those legs are coming out, okay? So that's your option three if you want it. Make sure you can get all the way back up without having those feet down on the floor. So if you're staying with those toes touching, don't add the kick. You can have one leg or both legs, but don't, sorry, don't add the roll, okay? Because when you roll up, we need your feet off the floor. Breathe out to kick, breathe in to return. Tailbone tucked under. Strength from the core and the lumbar spine. And I'm gonna ask you, in your open leg rocker, for one more with each leg, you're doing both legs together, you've got two. And then you can place those feet back down. We're gonna bring the arms behind us, fingertips point towards our bottom if you can. Now, if you have a wrist injury, a carpal tunnel, anything like that, 
then you don't have to lift up. You can just push back, hold, and breathe, yeah? Otherwise, breathe in. As you breathe out, you're gonna come up into a tabletop position. Try and make sure your bottom isn't dipping down and hold it here. Don't let the head hang. Keep the neck in line with the body. If you wanna go further, legs lengthen out. Don't drop the pelvis. Further, breathe in. As you breathe out, lift. As you breathe in, lower. And you alternate through those legs. So reverse leg pull. Strengthen through the core, the lumbar spine. Also working through the triceps, the backs of your arms, those bingoing areas. Well done. So I'm gonna ask you for two more breaths. Then you can gently lower down. And if you need to, just give those shoulders a little bit of a roll. We're going to come all the way down onto our backs. Just a quick drink before I lay down. Well done. So coming down, lengthen out the legs. Arms are down by the sides. Make sure your back is comfortable, okay? You can wriggle about as much as you need to to find that comfortable position. Lengthen the legs, point the toes away. Breathe in. As you breathe out, lift one leg. Keep that leg lifted, toes pulled away. Breathe in and pull the toes in. Breathe out and pull the toes away. So the movement comes through the ankle. Breathe in to bring the toes towards you. Breathe out to point them away. Now if you want to go further, you have got both legs lifted and working at the same time. However, don't allow your tummy to dome. Don't have it rounding upwards. You've got to draw it in and down. And also, comfortable back, neutral spine. Fingertips should touch underneath the small of the back. If I bring both my legs up, my lower back instantly wants to push down in the floor. So just be aware of how your body responds at different levels. So I'm gonna ask you with one leg, for one more, then replace the leg down. If you've got both legs lifted, just carry on guys, okay? If you then bring the other leg up, toes pull away, breathe in, toes pull in, breathe out, they point away. Breathe in, they pull in, breathe out, they point away. So that leg is raised, doesn't come up very far. It's about six, six to eight inches, something like that. Breathe in, pull the toes in, breathe out, point away can of course have both legs raised, but as I said before, don't allow the tummy to dome or the lower back to push down. And it's just a small movement. We're lengthening, we're releasing. We're lengthening, we're releasing. I'm gonna ask you please for two more here. Once you've completed your two, one leg at a time, carefully comes back down to the floor. Once you are ready, you're going to bend those legs. Now you do need to find neutral spine. Okay, so you can tilt your pelvis a couple of times. Find the position where your back is comfortable. Literally, if I place a spirit level across your hips, bubbler there would be central and still. Okay? Breathe in. As you breathe out, lift one leg up into a right angle. Should be able to reach that knee. Level one. Leg is raised, bent and still core muscles in place, you're using your breathing, deep full breaths in and out, keeping this leg in place. If you want the next level, you can bring the other leg up as well, make sure neutral spine is in place, don't let the heels drop down, maintain the right angle. So level two, both legs raised. Level three, bring up the upper body, palms face the floor, chin is off the chest, breathe in, breathe out, pulse down. It's like you've got a small bouncy ball underneath the hands and you're just constantly bouncing. Five little pushes down, then breathe in and hold, and then breathe out. So that breathing has got to be full and deep. If you want to go further still, legs come out at 45 degrees. Don't let that tummy dome. Remember, level one, just have that leg raised and still. Now, if you've just got one leg raised, you're gonna do one more breath, 
Then you're gonna allow that foot to lower. And then when you're ready, you're bringing the other leg up into that right angled position. Shoulders down and relaxed, core muscles pulled in and engaged. Level two, both legs. Level three, pulse. Level four, legs out. Your choice. Deep, full breathing at whichever level you've chosen to work with. You could add the pulse with just one leg raised, entirely up to you. Deep, full breath in through the nose, and then release it all the way out through the mouth. Five little pushes. So I am gonna ask you please, at your level, for two more breaths. Good. If your legs are out straight, you're gonna bring them back to bent. One foot at a time will carefully come down. Everyone's got both feet back down on the floor and then when you're ready, you're bringing the first leg back up again. You're bringing the arms up, fingers pulled to the ceiling. Now one arm is gonna go over and then the other arm is gonna come down by your sides, okay? Palms facing, fingers pointed to the ceiling, breathe in. Breathe out, allow the arms to separate. Breathe in, they come back to the middle. Breathe out, they go their separate ways. Breathe in, they come to the middle. So if for any reason you find this difficult, then just have the arms up on their own. One leg raised for your next level. Both legs raised for your next level. Core muscles zipped up. Breathe out as you open, in as you return. So I call this the windmill. Strengthening through your core and lumbar spine. Mobility around your shoulders. So after this one, I want you to take that leg back down to the floor. And then when you're ready, bring the other leg back up and then begin that movement again. So remember, you don't have to have any leg raised if you don't want to. You can keep both feet down on the floor. Or one leg raised, bent and still. Excuse me, I've got an itch on my side and on my ankle. Good. And then your last option is to have both legs raised. Up to fly. Breathe in. As you breathe out, open away. Breathe in, they come in. So the out breath takes them out and away. The in breath brings them back in. And I'm gonna ask you please, for one more deep full breath. Once you've done that, can allow those arms to float back down. One foot at a time, carefully comes back down. So we're gonna do one more in this position. Arms come out to the side. I'd like you to bring your legs together. And then imagine that I've bound your legs together with, with um, rope or string or something, okay? So they can't separate. Breathe in. As you breathe out, lower the knees one way and look away from those knees. Breathe in, come back to the middle. And then breathe out, or oh, go the other way. Breathe in, you come to the middle. Breathe out, you lower away. So this is trunk rotation. It does not matter if your feet, sorry, if your knees get to the floor or not. Only taking it as far as comfortable without allowing the shoulder blade to raise. Next level would be to have both legs raised. Breathe out as they lower. In as you return. Keeping those shoulder blades stuck down to the floor. If you do choose to work with your legs raised, make sure the legs stay together and you don't let those heels drop down. You've got to have that right angle behind the knee. Breathe it out as they lower. Breathe in as you return. And I'm going to ask you, please, for one more to each side, trunk rotation. 
once you've completed those two, you can give yourself a nice long body stretch if you would like to. Then when you are ready, transferring over onto your other side. Lengthening the body out into a nice long line. Point the toes, head down on the arm, point the fingers. Hand there for your balance, breathe in. As you breathe out, raise both legs without allowing the body to roll forwards or back. Breathe in. As you breathe out, lift the top leg. As you breathe in, lift the bottom leg. Breathe out, lower the bottom leg. Breathe in, lower the top leg. And they're only lifting up as far as comfortable for you. If you're lifting high and your hips are rolling, just make that movement a little bit smaller. Hand is there for your balance, but if you don't need it, take it away. Next option would be to take that arm all the way over. Breathe out as you lower, breathe in as you lower. Breathe out as you lift, breathe in as you lift. Top leg, bottom leg, bottom leg, top leg. Working down the outer thigh, the inner thigh, the core, the lumbar spine, the obliques. I make that five separate muscle groups. Core muscles zipped up, pulled in, and in place. So I'm gonna ask you please, up, up, down, down is one repetition. And I would just like one more please. Then bring those legs together and carefully allow them to lower. By all means, give that hip a little bit of a rub if you need to. From here, continue to come round, so you're in a box position. Breathe in, round the spine, cat stretch. Breathe out to release. You're gonna breathe in, cat stretch, round the spine, chin to the chest. Breathe out to release. So we're going to make our way to stand. If you need something to hold on to, then move towards that something, okay? You're going to carefully push yourself back into a crouched position. You're going to tuck the chin into your chest. Place the feet flat down and then when you are ready, begin the process of rolling up through your back, rebuilding the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way to the top. Head and neck raise last. Shoulders come back down. So we're back in this standing position. As you go about the rest of your day, try and make sure the core, the neutral spine, stay in place, okay? So as you're pottering around, just ask yourself, are my core muscles engaged? Is my neutral spine in place? Yes, yes, excellent, okay? Balance, lift up onto your toes. Are you balanced? and release. Lift up onto your toes, balance. So working with a good posture with the core and the lumbar spine, that helps to improve your balance, okay? Lift up onto your toes, close your eyes if you can, and release. Well done. So that's your Pilates for today. We are back with Pilates again, I believe, Wednesday at four. Um, today at four we've got our aerobics, that's the routine we did on Monday and Wednesday, so go back have a little look and see if you'd like to join in that one. Um, and then tomorrow you've got the Kids Fit with Bev at nine o'clock, okay guys? So well done for this morning if you've joined in, have a lovely rest of your day, take care and see you again soon.